Greetings, members, one and all of the Salivation Nation. The Perth Mint gets in on the moon landing action. The anniversary thereof, the 50th anniversary, from 1969 to 2019. Let's take a look. This comes to us from Coin World Magazine, announcing that the Perth Mint will issue bullion for the Apollo 11 uh, lunar mission anniversary. Although, I really wouldn't consider this bullion. It has limited distribution and mintage, and I believe these are just more collector coins that the Perth Mint is, is putting out. But the Perth Mint has launched two new 2019 bullion coins to celebrate a lunar theme, but this time not affiliated with the Zodiac calendar. The one ounce... Four nines, fine silver and gold bullion coins mark the 50th anniversary of mankind's first landing on the moon. The coins are available in the United States only through distributors Coins and Things, which had not responded to Coin World's inquiries as of March the 7th. Never heard of Coins and Things. Interesting. So very limited. I guess they are the sole distributor. Interesting. We'll have to look them up sometime. Uh... Upon further research, it looks like Coins and Things website will not load. It's offline. They're out of uh, Massachusetts, apparently, and a pretty small operation. But apparently, something is preventing their website from loading up there. But nonetheless, it's, uh, it's interesting that they uh, got chosen to be the sole distributor for these in the United States. <clears throat> the successful landing of the U.S. spacecraft Apollo 11's lunar module, Eagle, on the moon on July the 21st, 1969, was watched by more than a half a billion people. Amazing. Humanity collectively held its breath as astronaut Neil Armstrong stepped on the moon's surface, proclaiming that's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. The pulse of humanity rose as Apollo 11 was launched on July 16th. An estimated 600 million people across the world watched on TV, thanks in part to Australia's CSIRO Parks Radio Telescope and NASA's Honeysuckle Creek tracking station near Canberra as the craft made a successful flight into the moon. So there is an Australian connection. I guess it makes sense. And the coin's reverse was designed by Lucas Bowers and portrays a representation of the lunar module Eagle standing on the moon behind a large footprint on the moon's surface. <clears throat> the design includes the inscription Moon Landing 1969 to 2019 and the Perth Mint's traditional P Mint mark. Each coin's obverse depicts the Jody Clark effigy of Queen Elizabeth II, the 2019 year date, weight and fineness, and monetary and the monetary denomination. I will note that this is the the uh, uh, a new effigy of the queen. The coins are presented in protective acrylic capsule, which is, tends to be the newest trend for the Perth Mint to do. Uh, the silver dollar weighs 31.107 grams and measures measures 40.6 millimeters in diameter. Uh, it has a mintage of 50,000 pieces. The gold, a hundred dollar coin weighs 31.107 grams and measures 32.6 millimeters in diameter. It is limited to a mintage of 15,000 coins. The coins will begin entering the market in Australia at a date uh, yet to be determined, and the U.S. availability has not been announced, and uh, we can't get that website to load here. So CNT, uh, coins and things out of Massachusetts. But nonetheless, uh, you can see here, here it is, the... Uh, the 50th anniversary proof coin. Uh, this is the proof version of it, and it is a uh, very nice, very interesting indeed. <clears throat> Look at that, 7,500 of those, and those are just for um, distributed through your local distributor or what have you. Uh, very fascinating indeed. And here is the blog on it. Talks about the moon program moon landing program and all the facts and figures associated with it but you can see here the collectors here you can see the gold the silver and the five ounce silver high relief that looks pretty cool looking and we can see here here's the image for the gold coin here very attractive there very nice 
Packaging looks cool. Uh, but it will be pretty pricey. That's only that's the proof coin is limited to 500 pieces. And uh, so there's that. And then the and then the high relief five ounce there, you can see limited minage of a thousand of those pieces. And you can see there, very interesting indeed. Let's take a closer look at that. Very cool, interesting indeed. I kind of like that design with the footprint coming kind of in the foreground there. Still kind of looks like a trilobite. But uh, post your thoughts about this uh, particular this particular series. Looks like it's going to be collector coins, and it looks like it's going to be. Uh, the bullion grape, but they're still collector coins. Better bullion, I would call it, probably. But nonetheless, there they are. Fascinating indeed. And uh, so post your thoughts below about this this new series. I guess this does make it legitimate since the Australia did play a role, apparently, in the, in the moon landing and the communications and the like for this. Post your thoughts below. We'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for watching and encourage you to please rate, comment, and subscribe.